Well, prosecutors cracking down on so-called Glock chips, tiny pieces that can convert a semi-automatic pistol into a machine gun. And police say they're seeing more and more of these chips or switches on weapons mm. being used right here in Mobile. Fox News investigative reporter Brendan Kirby now joining us live from the federal courthouse with some new information. Yeah, Brendan, federal prosecutors believe these devices are coming from a local source. Yeah, that's right, Lenise and Byron. No one has yet been prosecuted for uh, manufacturing these devices, but Mobile's top federal prosecutor tells me that a majority of these chips are coming from 3D printers. A tiny piece of metal or plastic is all it takes to turn a semi-automatic pistol into a fully automatic machine gun that can fire off many rounds in seconds. The problem, as demonstrated by firearms experts last summer, is that the altered guns are hard to control. <laughs> Investigators say these devices were used in a New Year's Eve shooting downtown that left one dead and eight wounded. They say they believe Darius Rouser, the man accused of shooting four people at the paparazzi lounge in November, also had one of those guns. Neither Rouser nor alleged New Year's Eve shooter Thomas Earl Thomas Jr. has yet been charged with federal firearms violations, but federal prosecutors have convicted about a half dozen people and are working another seven cases, according to acting U.S. Attorney Sean Costello. He says the Glock chips in those cases mostly have been plastic, not metal. Only a couple of them have been uh, machine manufactured, uh, but the vast majority of them are actually 3D printed. So uh, as far as what the sources of those are, we're still looking into it, but uh, it appears that uh, at least some of them are being manufactured locally. Possession of Glock switches is not a crime under Alabama law, and even under federal law, it's a relatively minor offense, technically failure to register a machine gun. The base offense level under advisory guidelines starts punishment at 27 months. Although punishment can be more severe based on the defendant's criminal record and other factors. A judge this week, for instance, sentenced Austin Jaden Jones to almost six years in prison. Mobile police found Glock switches during an apartment raid in June. Court records indicate that Jones cut himself trying to destroy the switches with a hammer and scissors. Investigators found Jones's blood and DNA on the guns. They can be made almost anywhere by almost anyone. Um, that's part of the reason we're trying to to get the public to understand that these things by themselves, they they look small, they look innocuous, um, but the devices themselves are actually machine guns. If investigators can identify a local source for these switches, Costello says, it might reduce the number of these converted guns that are on the street. We hope that we can, uh, that we can cut off the source of supply, uh, that we can identify those and dissuade anybody else from getting into this. Costello says that his office is committed to prosecuting every single one of these Glock cases where there's enough evidence to get a conviction. Reporting live in Mobile, Brendan Kirby, Fox 10 News.